Okay, so I have some rather dark news for you here. Apparently in North Carolina, uh, there was uh, human trafficking going on. A woman was being uh, held captive by another woman inside of an apartment. Um, and people were seeing a lot of people going in and out of the place. So they called the police for suspicious activity. Uh, and they uh, found a woman inside held against her will. Uh, and it, it's a terrible thing. And what we need to remember from this is that the police only have so much manpower. And if you're cutting their funding, they have to let more people go, or they have to uh, have fewer resources. So when this sort of thing happens, then people might uh, not be able to respond as quickly. And there's a chance that people can be moved. Uh, people who are being trafficked could be transported to other locations. Uh, and that, that would have been very frightening if, um, if she had somehow heard one of her neighbors um, talking about this incident and they were calling the police. She might have uh, gotten the woman in a car and driven to another city, and they might never have found her. So this is why I think police is so important, because sometimes you don't get that quick response that you really need. And you won't get it unless police have at least some funding. Now, that said, if there were no police at all, people might have done the raid themselves, but that's really dangerous for people who aren't trained, don't have proper um, equipment, uh, Needless to say, uh, and of course it's, it opens that up to retaliation if, you know, if you don't, if it doesn't look like you have a chain of people who can protect you, because police, you know, they'll avenge themselves, but individuals acting in justice, that's where it gets tricky. Um, larger organizations typically be better, or typically are better for justice. Um, so, glad this one was able to be freed. Uh, actually, it started out as a narcotics investigation, so that's all the more reason to uh, make certain drugs illegal, because if drugs that uh, endanger people's lives around you. I mean, they already should be illegal if they're putting you into states where you could uh, where you could make choices without really thinking about it, separating your will from you. When you're being put into those situations, that's dangerous. Um, so not only are you endangering your lives, but they also have really strong correlation with horrible acts like human trafficking, um, rape, uh, murder, all sorts of bad things tend to be associated with these drugs. So if they hadn't uh, if there were no laws against drugs, then they might not have done that investigation, and she might not have been caught. Uh, so, held against her will, says the captain. Uh, got a warrant for her arrest. Uh, so, neighbors were saying that she saw cars stopping by several times a day and going into the apartment, but not through the front door. And I saw people parking uh, in our spaces and walking behind her building. Uh, so then, the woman, uh, Miss Briada Pringle, was charged with felony human trafficking of an adult victim. And where it states that the victim was held in involuntary servitude or sexual servitude in the apartment, which is across the street from Bray Hill Park. Right. And the victim was inside the apartment, they arrested Pringle, who was taken to jail. Uh, so if there had been fewer police officers, less funding, then that means that this probably would have taken longer to get someone there, because the police probably would have been busy doing something else, catching someone else or investigating something else. It might have taken them longer to free this person, and any second in there is too long. So. I mean, I, th I think that says a lot about uh, about what the police are doing for us, is because pe normal people don't want to do these kinds of raids, because they know people can have guns. Normal people aren't trained, at least not extensively as the police are. Uh, they don't have, or most of them don't have body armor. Uh, they don't have the experience needed uh, to do this while, while having reasonable security on their end. And it also... Uh, also, you know, it's, it's just a thing. It's like, if you don't have someone to call, if you would have to take care of it yourself, you might be less more inclined to not do anything about it, you know. It's nice when you have a, one resource that you can just immediately contact. But if you don't have that resource, then you'd have to you'd have to be convinced enough to go in there and try to take care of it yourself. And that's not a good situation to be in. So that's why I think the police are very important in our society right now. Um, perhaps not necessary in every case, but certainly helpful in most cases. So, that's depressing news for the day. People doing terrible stuff, but at least they're getting busted for it, so that's an important thing. Well, thank you very much for watching. You have a good day.